Hey y'all, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to be taking you to the small and quaint little neighborhood that is Goose Hollow here in Portland, Oregon. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Alana. I post content about what it's like to navigate life and dating in Portland. So if you're thinking about living in Portland, go ahead and subscribe down below and join the Kinnard Squad because I think you'll really like it here. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and explore Goose Hollow. Let's start off with some food spots in Goose Hollow. So a really popular place that people rave about all the time is Goose Hollow Inn. You may have remembered this place from my cozy winter dates video that I did back in December, but I wanted to share it again because it is a popular spot. Goose Hollow Inn is well known for its cozy aesthetic and they do have an outdoor patio as well that you can enjoy. I personally like coming here during the cooler months just because I love coming in here for their hot boozy beverages. They're really well known for their hot boozy beverages. I really like their Irish coffee and their hottie toddies. So that is something that you can enjoy while you're there. And also Goose Hollow is really well known for their Reuben sandwiches. So if you're craving a good Reuben, this is another good spot that you're gonna wanna come to. Another really common spot that's actually right behind Goose Hollow Inn is Fehrenbacher Hop. So this happens to be a coffee house right inside this cute little house and basically they serve uh, kawaba coffee and they offer a wide variety of pastries and sandwiches and even burritos so this is a great place to come for your cafe fix and i do believe they're doing window service only at the moment but once they allow everyone to go back inside, then you can enjoy the cozy environment. They have a couple of rooms for like lounging and sofas to study and get work done. And they have a really nice bay window that has some good natural lighting. But they do have outdoor seating at this time. So you can still sit there and enjoy your cup of coffee and your sandwich. If you are craving Mexican while you're rimming around the area, a great recommendation that I have for you that I actually recently went to is called Matt Salon and it is a Mexican restaurant that's actually pretty much right across from Providence Park and let me tell you I have been searching everywhere to find a good blue margarita in Portland and I haven't been able to find one and this place has it. They have lots of fun margarita options, other drink specials on their drink menu. So I really enjoyed their blue margarita. It really hit the spot and I really liked their tacos. I thought for a Mexican food place in Portland, this was actually really good and had a similar taste to some California Mexican food that I've had and you know me I miss my California Mexican food so I was very impressed with this place the staff is very friendly here and they do have outdoor seating which is what I chose to do when I came here so I was just out here living my best life drinking my blue margarita and eating my tacos all by myself and it was the best solo date that I've had in a while so I highly recommend Madison if you're craving Thai food a really popular spot in Goose Hollow is Kanara Thai so Kanara is this contemporary fuel restaurant. It's pretty small, but they have your traditional menu of Thai food. And then an honorable mention that I wanted to put in here, which I wasn't able to go to because it was closed. This is a uh, honey milk. So honey milk is a brunch spot. They aren't open every single day of the week, but this is supposed to be like a really, really cute spot for brunch. They got a really great brunch menu. So I'll definitely have to come back here and check it out, especially if you're living in Goose Hollow. There aren't as many things to do here, but I love the quaintness of this neighborhood in general. And I do feel like Goose Hollow is a little bit underrated. So that's why I had to include Honey Milk and the cool brunch spot that it is. Goose Hollow has a few options in terms of bars and nightlife. So a really common spot that is supposed to be really good, I didn't have time to go here when I was like filming the B-roll for this video, but this is the Driftwood Room. It is inside the 
Hotel Deluxe and it opens up at 4 p.m pretty much every single day. The Driftwood Room is a very elegant and loungy type bar. They do offer food. It is going to be more of upscale pricing, but Driftwood Room is really well known for their cocktails. And they even have martinis that are named after different actors, which I think is pretty cool. So I definitely would love to come back here and check it out and live the bougie life in the driftwood room. I do think that this would probably be a great place for a date where the two of you can dress up and feel very elegant and bougie and sip on some really cool cocktail drinks because that's what they're really well known for. If you want something that's a little bit more casual, then I recommend you check out the Civic Tap Room and Bottle Shop. So yeah, as I mentioned, this is going to be much more casual. I believe they only serve alcohol here. It's basically like a beer hall in a way. They have about 22 beers on tap, but you can also get wine and ciders here if beer is your thing so this is probably like a good social hangout spot for you and your friends to grab a quick drink and relax they do have outdoor seating as well so that's another cool spot to check out and then another really good spot that is good for alcohol it is also a restaurant but this is the cheerful bullpen so this is like a really great sports bar within portland so the cheerful bullpen is pretty much right across from Providence Park and it's also a Buffalo Bills fan base bar. So if you are a Bills fan, then you would absolutely love this place because they do watch parties for the Bills games and they also have other sports games that go on as well. This is great for college sports like for University of Oregon college football season is approaching us. I am so excited because I've missed college football. So you can watch a bunch of sports games here. The whole bar looks like a sports bar. I mean, the decor is really cool. They do have outdoor seating, and of course they're gonna have bar food for you to enjoy. So if you wanna watch a sports game, especially a, especially a Bills game, this is the place to come to. Goose Hollow doesn't have too much to do, but there are two things that I highly recommend you check out because this kind of is what brings the neighborhood to life. So we have Providence Park, which I've mentioned a couple of times in this video already. You're probably wondering, well, what is Providence Park? Providence Park is the stadium for our professional soccer teams, which are the Thorns, which is the women's soccer team. And then you have the Timbers, which is the men's professional soccer team. I believe the season runs from midwinter to early fall. So there are some games coming up soon for the month of September. I don't think the tickets are that expensive. I haven't gone to a Timbers or a Thorns game yet. I will say I'm not the biggest soccer fan, but to just go and just appreciate Portland sports is definitely something I'm all about. So one day I'll go ahead to a soccer game and catch it and see what it's about. But it gets really popular. The stadium overfills like Portland really likes their soccer. So yeah, I mean, if you're in town and it is soccer season, then definitely check out a game. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention, which is a really cool store that I think needs more attention. It is a local business here in Portland. So it is called Portland Gear. I discovered this account on TikTok because the person who's in charge of it makes a lot of fun videos about like living in Portland and they're really funny and relatable. But it is also a apparel business for like Portland based merch. So I'm actually wearing one of their tanks that I got when I visited. So a lot of their like branding comes with like this P and that is how you know that it is Portland Gear merch. So they do have a little small store where you can buy lots of clothes and apparel. I got a free sticker when I bought this shirt and another shirt. They had some bins in the store where you could buy t-shirts for $10, which I thought was a great deal. So those are probably like some of their older stuff. But I mean, for me, I don't care what's new 
or what's old. I just wanted to support the brand because I've been following them on TikTok for quite some time. So yeah, this is a really cool place. If you absolutely love Portland and you want some Portland themed attire, this is a really great business that I think you can get great stuff from. And they do have an online store. So even if you don't live in Portland, you can order stuff online and they can ship it to you, which is really great. So tell me, what was your favorite spot in Goose Hall? I know it's a small little neighborhood, but I hope you enjoyed it and you check it out. If you like this video, do make sure you give it a thumbs up. With that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!